Yo guys, what's up? Asio once again with another Exoseros video. In today's video, we do a follow up on last video, which was the special dungeons. I show you a little bit how I did the special dungeons and how you might be able to replicate it. Let's talk about it. Alright guys, so I have prepared a couple of clips that I want to show you. I will play them in the background and do an overlay commentary for them so you can experience what I experience and I explain everything that I do. I hope this will help you and yeah, let's just get right into it. Alright, so this is the fire blessing dungeon from yesterday. Here it is fairly simple because it is fire and if you crit you gain mana, this is a huge advantage over most of the other elements but most of the elements here are counter for my stones that i have so it's still very difficult right now all i'm worried about is managing my mana in order to quickly uh, break as many targets as possible as you could see i got uh, a counter attack from otar twice which helped me to already prepare two of my targets for breaking and from here on onwards it's just about mana management so I will only use abilities that cost one mana or are auto attacks. Once you're through stage one it's pretty much a cakewalk because you have your mana most likely you have your AoEs and you can just continue. So my altered, I didn't want to use her mana abilities because I need her um, maybe a little bit later. So I just went with my uh, Xeon and here I decide to use auto attacks in order to gain some mana back because fire units gain mana when they crit or when they allies crit and if targets are broken with the firestone every hit is a crit so this is pretty good and now that i have enough mana for my units i can just aoe a little bit and do some nukage so as mentioned before for me personally because of how my uh, guardian stones are set up it's not optimal i get broken almost immediately by everybody here in this dungeon for my uh, Maggie and my Sabrina because they both have uh, the green stones which is nature and all of these units are nature units I believe but because I already have uh, like done so much pre-work I can just wait out one of the uh, breaks that he does he will do one more, it's just more damage because I had 5 mana and my Maggie cannot store more and break this target. This is basically game over for it. From now on it's just nuking him down as fast as possible. Once you are at the third stage, as long as 3 heroes survive so you can break all the stones in one rotation, you shouldn't have any problems with the boss however if you only have two it can get quite dangerous and there we go so the next clip up will be from today's blessing dungeon so here we have today's blessing dungeon and as you can see those two guys they are just at 3 star, they are not leveled, it's completely against my advice but I didn't really think that I need it because my other 3 units are so strong 2 6 stars and my Anastasia is pretty kitted out, all of them have full legendary equipment so they are really strong, I don't think I would need these 2 guys necessarily to beat this however, you might think I don't have a battery this is BS because with a battery everybody might be able to do it. Because of that I actually spent some time and went for a different route. 
this clip will actually play in a small player so you can still see it how I do things and you can focus on that but the actual clip that we will watch in a bigger format will be this one as you can see here no battery it's a speaker she is 60 yeah I think she is 60 she has one legendary weapon the rest rare so nothing in particular that is outstanding However, the reason I picked her over another healer or another unit is her S1, which is a freeze ability. And she is also a tank, which has the thrust ability. So if I get attacked, she will retaliate, stun the target. This was really important for me to make this selection. Let's jump into it. So this is not what I usually do. I run my best teams because it saves me time. But I wanted to show you that you don't necessarily need to have the best units out there to clear these dungeons as long as you have solid units and a solid understanding of what your units and what the enemy units are doing. So right now here I need to make the decision which unit I go for in order to stun or nuke down. I actually decided to nuke the two mages because they deal insane damage if they crit so i didn't want to let that happen at any cost all the three mages are stunned and now it's only the two archers that i have to worry about and i just wanted to select which one i get unfortunately i got blocked so it took a little while but my speaker retaliated or thrusted and that helped me removing one target as well. So right now it's another turn for freezing somebody to remove them from the fight. As you can see three units are always out of the fight. I will never have to deal with more than two units at a time uh, with more than one and a half unit at a time because I also make sure that the second unit that I have to deal with is very far away in this uh, timeline or turn order. So as you can see here, it's again only one enemy that I have to worry about. This guy here on the uh, left is the next target because the archer is far out. Now I can nuke somebody. I actually decide to nuke for the middle one because I'm not too afraid of the archer. And he dodged, so I gain mana, which is great. And now I have two targets. And because I had my AoE ready, I knew I would only have to worry about one target. So I, gu I guess you got the point by now that all I'm doing is rotating between which enemy I CC, where I use my uh, strong abilities to nuke for, when to conserve mana, when to heal. This is really important. I wanted to heal in a phase where I couldn't get attacked and where I knew I wasn't going to take any more damage. So here applies the same as in the fire dungeon. Once you're past stage one, the next stages become so much easier, especially if you have somebody with an AoE. Dot units are really, really great. I have another clip of uh, one fight that I think I did with Reed Marie. Uh, she does AoE dots and it went really well but i think it's just showing off for showing off so i didn't include this here but if you want to see it let me know in the comments and i will include it somewhere else so the second wave is really nothing special it's just conserving some mana 
and preparing for the next wave. So right here my Anastasia got uh, broken which is a little bit annoying but the middle guy I can freeze right away so he is out for 4 turns. The left guy got stunned so he's also out for 4 turns and my AoE will knock him out for the rest basically. Now I think I go for yeah I go for the middle one. I break the oh i kill the left one and then because this guy got broken so that was a little bit lucky i decided to nuke him because i didn't want to deal with him at all i wanted to just focus on the boss and as you can see like the boss gets nuked really really hard So here I don't have to worry about him getting another turn because he's stunned again or frozen and now he's broken and the fight is over. There's nothing that this guy can do to me, like not even remotely close. So yeah. That's about it. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. You learned something. Let me know if I missed something. Because uh, I'm not used to free talk over my own footage. But I really hope it helped you guys to understand these fights a little bit more. And use the units that you have to your advantage. And with that we are already signing out. If you enjoy what I'm doing. Consider subscribing, leave a like, it would help me out a ton. Let me also know in the comments if this content you like to see more of and I will provide. With all that said, I will see you in the next one. And until then, enjoy the grind.